Security is obviously paramount for us as a bank and I would say for any organization. Obviously the ultimate responsibility lies with us, but we also, because we have outsourced providers, we need to make sure that our partner take it as seriously as we do or even more. And also because AWS is such a big company and it has such a great scope, obviously what they can invest in cybersecurity would fully outweigh what we could invest in the short future. Oknoff Bank is a bank of entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs, uh, so we lend money to entrepreneurs and we raise deposits from retail customers. Uh, the bank was created by uh, two entrepreneurs, Rishi Kosla and Joel Perlman, and what they found in the previous venture is that business can be really solid, but unless they are property collateral, they find it very difficult to fund. And this is a problem we wanted to solve with our bank and really give opportunities, particularly to SME, to grow at the pace they want to grow. We um, turn profitable within 11 months of operating. Uh, we have over 10,000 uh, retail customers and our book uh, have uh, long passed the half a billion. We always wanted to be cloud-based and that's why we picked the core banking platform who was native in the cloud. Uh, because we wanted to go to launch reasonably quickly uh, because of the regulatory environment and the relative inexperience with financial services in cloud, we chose a traditionally hosted environment. But the cloud was always our vision and that's why we worked together with the regulator and with AWS to be able to transition as quickly as we could. AWS is the core of our infrastructure. Uh, so th almost the entire bank lives in AWS with just very small exceptions. Uh, so we use it for our servers, for our applications, for storage and fundamentally for everything which is infrastructure related. We use EC2, we use RDS and we use S3. Uh, we're now starting to experiment with other products but I think it's really early days. But we really use the basic fundamental products because we have our fundaments in it. What we have now, we have a degree of flexibility that we never experienced before. If we want to experiment, if we want to try out, uh, all we need to do is spin up a server and test and try. Uh, we all, always had to size for the future, which means we were always paying for things we were not using. Whereas now what we pay is what we use. So the move has been very beneficial for us uh, on many different levels. On the business side, we are a lot quicker to market. We can say yes to the business a lot more than we could in the past. In terms of costs, we are realizing tangible benefits. And also the IT team just loves it. Um, and it's also an, an element of robustness for the system. Again, we rely on a first class provider, which puts all the infrastructure, the security, the robustness and the resilience that we could not have achieved in a different way. So it's peace of mind as well. If a bank were to start using AWS, I would recommend starting in a simple way. Start with EC2, which is a very approachable product. Start with non-core infrastructure, uh, and that will give us a lot of confidence, uh, both to the IT team and to the management team. And the results should start speaking for themselves, which then will make it a lot easier to win some of the resistance which some banks may have in innovation and change. AWS has definitely made my job easier because I have one provider who gives me a breadth of a product suite and a breadth of service and professionality, which is exactly what I was looking for. Therefore, I can rely on AWS to provide the core infrastructure for my bank, to put in place security, to put in place monitoring, and all I need to do is really make sure and monitor and control the infrastructure but the plumbing and the basic daily activities are taken care of in a very professional way.